Hello YouTube. I'm here reviewing Cragger's Command Ship and first let's take a look at the box. So we see it's 609 pieces and it comes with these minifigures. It's amazing, amazing ship. Crocodilian ship. And showing you that you do have a plane that you take off from the deck of the uh, Cragger. Okay, now let's look at the minifigures. Here are the six minifigures you get. You get uh, three crocodiles, one uh, raven, and two lions. So, here are the crocodiles. I'll start with Chrominus. This is a really spectacular amazing minifigure. His weapon I'll go over first. It's translucent red and it has a red jewel at the top. Really nice looking weapon. Um, he has a really amazing head. It's golden And there it is by itself. Here's his face print. Here's uh, his face printing. Here's his other face. Slightly different. And his, if you look closely, he has claws there on his feet. And he has a printing on there. It almost looks like a cloth sash thing. And then oops. Here's his printing without his armor. And you can see um, he has a nice necklace around his neck and a blue jewel in there. Just like his armor. He's got a blue jewel there. If you haven't, um, if you don't know much about Chima, I can read you a little um, background that I got in my Lego Club magazine. This Lego Club magazine from February, January, February 2013. <clears throat> Here's the magazine featuring the Legends of Chima on the cover. Lego Chima, the battles for Chi begins, and it's uh, episode, I mean, Issue January through February 2013. It's actually an opening, an opening cover. Poster, kind of. Really cool um, front page to your Lego Club magazine. And then there's a Lego Chima comic, which I did read. Which seems like this is going to be a great theme.
Now, okay, this is it, and this is a little explanation. It says, there is a world called Shima where for a thousand years there was peace and harmony. All shared the benefits of the myst of a mysterious and powerful energy source called Chi, which gave them great might as well as made their machines run. Then there came a day when the crocodiles decided that they should control all the Chi in the world. Okay, here is the explanation of Chi. See there, floating islands, pretty amazing. Crocodile, and it says, There is a world called Chima, where for 1,000 years there was peace and harmony. All shared the benefits of a mysterious and powerful energy source called Chi, which gave them great might as well as made their machines run. Then there came a day when the crocodiles decided that they should control all the chi in the world. The lions, long the fair and just keepers of the chi, naturally objected to this. And so, today, there is still a world called Chima, and there is still the power of Chi. But it isn't very peaceful anymore. So that is a great introduction to Chima. Hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't already know, Oops. Next, I have Cragger, and it's Cragger's ship. He's also got a maroon cape like Chrominus. This is the weapon. Really, really cool. Double bladed weapon some red <clears throat> with some red lightsabers pieces here's a look at his head he does differ from Chrominus, and they all do differ on their heads. So, just a quick look at their heads next to each other. And without his hel uh, head, he has this face. Notice he has only one eye. The other one's white and this slightly different face um, I'll remove his armor with his jewel and I'll show you his printing there you go Highly, highly detailed torsos and backs. So, quality, very quality minifigures. 
what we're seeing here from Chima. I'm loving these crocodiles. What an amazing design and the lions. These crocodilians are pretty amazing. Now for the third crocodile in this set, we've got what is it? Cooler. So he as you can see he's not got gold on him at all. He's actually it's pretty plain, but he still is amazing. He's got the claws on his feet. I like that detail that all of them have the visible toe claws. I don't know if this one's female. She looks he has pink a lot on him. And right there kind of looks I don't know. Here's the reverse. So there's Cruller's first face. And second face. I already did! Stop talking when I'm filming. Where is he? Oh no, he turned around and came back. Come here, I would. Come here, I would. Come here, Boney. Oh. Keep an eye on him, then. <clears throat> so that is it for the crocodiles. The next mini, next mini figure is the Raven Rosam. Now you spell that R A W Z O M. I haven't really heard any correct pronunciations. I guess we'll see um, when the show airs, the 16th or this month. So his weapon is pretty cool. It's a bl big, giant black claw. And this is the back. Smooth jewel and a completely gold um, handle and everything. So here's Rosam. amazing um you know he's a bird but a raven minifigure simply stunning they uh, feature these wings that clip on to the as you see there the clips the wings are just stunning black wings the face does have a lot of detail on it Unfortunately, I don't know if it's coming out that well, but let's hope. Shiny, actually, gold detail on this raven's head. Now, here's the printing of Rosam's face. Oops. A jewel on the head. <clears throat> Excuse me, and... The reverse printed face. Now, I'll show you the back printing and the uh, torso printing without his armor. And do take notice, he's got the same like royal armor as Chromus and Krager. Very, extremely nice. Regal looking. I know he's on the bad side, but he does look good. Just a shot of the uh, armor with the wings attached. Without it on. Looks cool. Now, here he is. Reverse. Okay. It's Rosam the Raven. They did an amazing job on the head sculpts.
Okay, now we get two lions, which is Lennox and Leonidas. Lennox is the dark-haired one. Here we go. They have these little um, water uh, ski jets, jet skis, and that's what they're um, pursuing the Kragger ship with. Oops. Okay, but here's a good look at the lion, uh, Lennox. Lennox has this, um, you know, some kind of sonic weapon. It looks like blue a trans disc there for the detail and an aimer there fits in his hand pretty good it's hard to fit him on his little jet ski though with it here he is he's got also royal army armor on I'm just calling it that I really don't know what it is their hair is really really detailed and it's not rubbery or anything, but it's real ridged, really, really angled, nice. And you can see the detail of their eyes and teeth, and all of that matters in the character. Okay, that's the head mold. Here is the face of Lennox. Yellow eyes. And the other expression of Lennox. He's got no wings, but he's got the same armor as the uh, Chrominus, Cragger, and uh, Rosum. Here is his printing front. Almost looks like he has his. Here's his front printing. Very nice blue and gold. Very regal looking. And his back printing of Lennox. Now we have Leonidas. He's got uh, red hair. Or not red hair, orange hair. Oh no, I said red. And in comparison with Lennox, he does stand out. That bright hair. He's holding a piece of um, the chi. And as I explained to you earlier, with this chi, it makes them stronger and makes their machines run and all that. It's chi crystal. Very, very awesome looking. Now, here's Leonidas. Very muscular abdomen, highly detailed waist, highly detailed legs, feet, reverse. And both faces. So, that is Leonidas. I'll show you Leonidas and Lennox's identical um, jet skis. Here they are. Simple little things. They sit riding these. Those are stickers. Same sticker on each. And they kind of just sit and grasp the handlebars and they pursue the cragger so I'll fasten uh, Lennox now there's Lennox um, for time I'm just not going to do their hands so there now onto the cragger ship here's an aerial view of the cragger ship and it looks like a crocodile head eyes arms and you see the claws back and tail pretty cool um, 
back here, which forming the back legs is actually an, a vehicle, which I'll show you now. You lift up here, and you have a whole, basically like plane. And let me uh, show you that. Okay, here here's the plane. Uh, it's got ratcheting engines on the sides, and those have a propeller. All the detail on the top are stickers. The cockpit looks like this. Some uh, lever sticks there to control it, and some laser weapons on each side. You have flick fires here, and one on this side, and the missile looks like this. Now, the tail is a free swooping tail. It just whips around like that. Um, you can have a gunner up here. You have a space for a gunner up here, but it doesn't rotate. And it's kind of dangerous because the guy's sitting here, but I think that's what it is. Now, when you land it, it lands right here, snapping everything off. Um, here is the landing pad, and you can see with the shape, it fits nice and snug. Now you can, if you want, ratchet these down more to, oops to form fit your to form fit the ship more you can ratchet the uh, engines down like that and it looks like the back of a crocodile with a loose tail pretty amazing now Underneath this area, and so I'll move it out of the way and show you. We have a secret compartment here, and this is what runs it. I believe is this chi back here because it says it runs our machinery and stuff. Little containers of chi, our crystals of chi, the smooth metallic stud. And those are on tippers. Back here you have a wrench, and I think that's to work on the engine. And then up from that you have, you know, I think those are like some spray cans. And then here is a battle axe and a spear. The ship has some railing, and it's spiked. Black spikes. Up here is a ladder, and that's how you get to the next level and the wings not the wings the front arms here are actually boats and these look like claws but I'll show you the boat feature now you detach it and you have a speeder boat Actually, two. Detach this one, too. You have two um, identical speeder boats that are uh, the Kragger's front legs. You have all these specialized colored green pieces. Even the boat itself is a, a really floating um, green, as you see here, this color, green boat. Everything special for this all right now um, you have these sonic wave uh, type weapons on here that go in and out which are kind of loose 
And as you can see with the ratcheting red on both sides, it doesn't matter if you switch them or whatever. And on the reverse, the propellers. And I believe these type of boats really do float. So Where the boats go. And also, pleasing to the eye, when you remove the boat, you still have a leg with the claw, which really makes this look, this head that I'm showing you, looks so crocodilian. It's amazing. Eyes. So, here are the two eyes, which are cockpits, cleverly. Uh, this side has uh, a printed control dial. Let me tip it up. Printed controls on uh, my right, and on the left is your steering wheel. Okay. Now, uh, you see a lot of sticker detail on this roof of the mouth. So, this massive head and mouth turned to the side. These almost look like nostrils. All the teeth coming up, and an awesome feature is a opening mouth. Even in here, it looks like a tongue. Oops. It's kind of heavy with all the pieces, and it's this on a ratchet. Um, you can take it off. This is it. It ratchets there, so of course sometimes the weight, if it's too low, will fall, but tongue detail as well. You can have a proneness standing out of there. You can put cooler in at the pilot seat. Now, and there's Cragger on, on the back of the ship on the place that's um, where I thought was the second gunner is where, I don't know why I said that, that's where he um, guns from when he's landed at the back of the ship, as you can see. back there and they're all in place just want to give you a quick view of the bottom here it's a nice big ship and some stickers here as well same on the other side so it looks like from the back and hope you've enjoyed my first lego chima review guys thanks for watching and please subscribe stay tuned for more